All right, thank you. The coronavirus hitting nursing homes across the country especially hard. California officials reporting yesterday that 30 people at one nursing facility have tested positive for COVID-19. This says Maryland's governor issues new directives to address the outbreaks at nursing homes in his state. Joining us now is Mark Parkinson, president and CEO of the American Healthcare Association, which represents more than 13,000 nursing homes across the U.S. Mark, good morning and thank you for being here. So what can you tell us this morning about the impact that this virus has had on our country's nursing homes? Well, this is the perfect storm, a highly contagious virus that is a near perfect killing machine to the elderly. And unfortunately, the very things that we need to fight it, we don't have. We need masks. And as everybody now knows, the masks were made in the province in China where this started. So once this virus hit the United States, we didn't have the mask to adequately fight it. And now we need them. We've been pleading for a month or two that if we can get the mask, if we can get the equipment, we can stop this virus, both in nursing homes and outside of it. But without it, it's going to be a very, very tough battle. So I hear you talking about a shortage of supplies, in particular those masks. Is that in any one area of the country or throughout? It's really throughout the entire country. Uh, and the challenge is that, you know, we need a lot of masks everywhere. And we understand priorities and the hospitals have been set as a, as a huge priority. And we completely get that. But the ground zero for this is really in nursing homes, because that's where we have the population that's the most vulnerable, that most needs to be protected. And so what we're really asking the country is to do what's been done for hospitals, which is to rally around nursing homes, rally around assisted living facilities, and get us all the masks that are out there, get us the testing that we need. And we feel like if we have that, uh, we can fight this. But without it, it's really a losing battle. Who are you working with on that? I hear you say that you've been pleading for more supplies, more face masks. Are you working at the state level for these nursing homes, or is this also a plea to the federal level? Well, I, I, first of all, I want to say that the federal officials have been fantastic. We've been working with Administrator Seema Verma, who's really been helpful on almost every front. So I'm not here to, to blame anyone, but I am here now to ask the CDC, to ask FEMA, but in particular to ask the governors and the public health officials in the states that now actually have the equipment and have access to testing to put us as a level one priority. You mentioned that Governor Hogan had issued some new orders last night. I think those are very helpful. Right. What Governor Hogan has said is that you know, if there's an outbreak in a building, we need to make the workers and the residents top tier priorities for testing. That's exactly what we need every governor in the country to do. Yeah, um, so that was those are additional safety restrictions there in Maryland. We'll see what some of the other states do about protecting our, our most vulnerable population to this, the elderly. Mark, if you could leave us off with a good note, you know, you don't have to look far on social media to see the remarkable stories that are emerging of families trying to stay connected with their loved ones in these uh, in these retirement homes or nursing homes across the country. What are you seeing and, and what are you hearing from those families that are trying to stay connected with their loved ones? There have been so many beautiful stories about families connecting with the residents in our buildings. And, you know, one that really stuck in with me is um, when uh, at a nursing facility where all of the family members circled the facility, held hands, prayed and sang to the residents. A lot of touching and important things happening. And like everybody has said, it's an incredibly tough times for nursing homes, for assisted living facilities for the entire country. But as long as we have that kind of spirit, we will get through this. To our caregivers and to those families that are trying to protect their loved ones, it's a great big thank you because this is such difficult times for everyone. Mark Parkinson, appreciate what you do, and thanks for coming on with us. Thank you. Yeah.